Norman Woodstock Spalding. Eat you some cheese. This bare bones broadcasting, you're going to get it this way. So I broadcast. Very candid. Bare bones broadcasting. Candid. And I'll remind you, the stuff coming to you is not a candidate because they're not candid. And you're calling the absence of candid and doing it quite on purpose, re, uh, Republican and Democratic Party. Or Whig and whatever is in England or I don't care, whatever you've done, you've always done that. Unless they run against the word no, they're running against nothing. Someone just left that likes to put words in my mouth and they've never known me. Every word they've heard me say, this individual, put the word there himself. The Bible does that. All these literatures that you claim are God talking to you, some human put the words in God's mouth and you're hearing that. You didn't hear God. You never heard any superior being talk to you. Every human telling you what a superior being said, or any time any human said, I've overheard the superior being, some other human put the words there. You never heard the over, you never heard. God didn't part the Red Sea. Moses did. He commanded and it parted. I'll be darned. Placebo. God didn't rise Lazarus. Jesus did. With a technique. Yea, Jesus. Learned it in Rome, in Judea. Placebo. He pictured it happening and it happened. You picture events happening, they happen. This would be a different plan. I could picture it happening. I could picture every event that takes place here. This would be more than heal to be living. You don't need to heal. You don't need salvation. You need to live. It's already prearranged. Stars and planets, you back up, remember more. It's creation. <clears throat> don't hurl. You know each other, every word coming out of Christ's mouth. Peter put the, put the word there. You never heard Jesus speak. And anyone that did, somebody else put the words there. Even if they did, they already had a preconceived picture. They took all the words and matched it to the picture they already had. And they weren't going to change that picture. In fact, not change it. They weren't going to live up to the picture that's, that's there. What you do is, when you address them, when you address a picture that lives the truth, and then they either live up to it or they don't. Who does? The truth is the picture in your head. A storyline. A momentum. A creation. An existence. It's got something to do with fun and inclusive and mutual and generosity and honesty. Mammal. Herd. Migration. Meander. Living. Forest. Dying. Pain. Joy. Glee. That's what it's about. Most of these words are hogwash. Mo no one here ever heard the words of a superior being or creature or Never heard the words of God, never heard the words of Creator. Heard humans butting in. Tricking you. Pulling the wool over your eyes. What about your mind's eyes? Pull the wool with these eyes in here. The eyes of curiosity. Always wondering. Right? The more you add faith to it, the more you're telling curiosity, never mind. <laughs> Not important. We gotta eat today. Never mind. Not important. We gotta eat today. Pander the misunderstanding. Pander the misunderstanding. Get along in rhythm band. She don't know the difference. Follow the other kids. Pander the misunderstanding. The philosophies of this planet. Garbage. Now I wonder why the agony here. Why the anarchy right now? And the more certified, the more anarchy. Certified anarchy. How's it working? Citizen to blame. Not having confession with the Lord and bringing those comments back. Right here. Confession with my maker, bringing back comments. Dork. <laughs> I'll be darned. This is radio broadcasting. This tries to stimulate response out here that it's priceless. That's what the polling is for. To get the remarks out from underneath the table and behind the walls and everything, the wit of humanity, get it out in a state of confession. That's my job. The confession is, humans are priceless. Pull them together here. You know it don't come easy. That's for sure. 
When I hear that song, <laughs> did we hear it? Doesn't come easy. I wonder if we could hear it. You think? I wonder if we could hear that. Let's try it. Fair. Some mechanism here. Not it. That's not it. Well, I'll be. I'm not going to get here. Mickey Mouse idea here. Well, heavy. I like that song, it don't come easy. I find it apropos. You like apropos music? I like that for pole music. It doesn't look like it. Get back there. You know, this machine is about as consistent as me. Not very consistent. My anatomy. Never been very good at this anatomy. What are you doing? Speakers up. Bear bouncer, bear bouncing. I'm the bear bones broadcaster. I'm telling you, it ain't coming easy. How about a hand? I speak of violence. Yesterday, I saw a man give a haircut. Give it to a child that was crying in hysterics in his chair. He said, "This boy ain't hurt." The boy was in a state of violence. In other words, they were being violent to him. He was in panic, crying in hysterics and holding him. Behaving so well. There's no one ever in torment behaves as well as a child. I've watched humans take children and torment them and torment them. And they stand up. Giant. Wonder what's wrong. And the man said, nothing wrong with him. I'm going to make this haircut easy. Shut up, boy. I ain't hurting you. Crying in his The lap absence of understanding drove the child absolutely violent. The absence of understanding and the agony of the anatomy goes through here. Bring me my maker's head, I want to eat it off. Like a praying man is an aggressor. You think this planet was built by a grasshopper? Because I think I'm a praying man is I'm wanting to eat the head of it. The grasshopper that built the earth, I want to eat the head of it like a praying man. Can I? Am I allowed? Is that ugly? Not at all. Not when the grasshoppers nail them, you bunch of ants. The grasshoppers are getting us. The grasshoppers are the absence of brains of our maker. Let's eat the head off the maker's absence of brain here. I got the brain. You got the brain. The maker don't. Let's see if we got something we can use the brain for. Assets. Wonderful things in creation. Have a nice place to live. Ah, instead of pointing out of the stupidity of the Lord and... Jumping all around that dead fire. That ain't working. What do you think? There's Ringo Starr. Woo-hoo. Yay, Ringo Starr. Don't go Well, sometimes I like me. You like me.